Welcome back. Been a while since we've been here. We haven't had a chance to play lately. It's been a little rough out here. But now that we're able to get things back to play again, we get to start this week's uh, segment on our vlog as to how we're doing. So I think for them here, we're about even. I think we lost last time like 100, 200 bucks, whatever it was. That brought us back down to about even. So I started tracking the numbers for today. We're into it for 44 rolls right now. This particular hand, we're actually sitting on an all small. Let me bring that out to you right here. You can see we have an all small going on right now. Huh. No, we don't because we're actually missing a five unless I somehow don't have it in there right. That's interesting. We'll have to have, oh no, the five is in there. Because a five rolled as our point. Oh, okay, so they're all in. We'll see what's going on, and we'll play with it from there. But the five and the six, they've rolled, oh, they've rolled a second time, that's why. Okay, I had to look and say, wait, something's not right there. But no, it is all good. Uh, two, three, sometimes I question everything, and, as I did on this particular one. So this hand seems to be going pretty good. Um, apparently we have a median of about four. The screen says it's a four average, so... No, it's not. It's a six on the average, but I have a four as a median. Of course, my data doesn't go as far back as theirs does. So this hand has been pretty good. Shooter rolls right now are 17. So I might just jump in here real quickly and start laying a few numbers. Just because we're already in here is pretty deep. So let's open this up for you. Oh, oh. just a little bit late, huh? All right, one, six, after that four. All right, so since we just had a pretty good hand, I think what we'll do is we will jump out there and we'll play a little bit of the dome. And I'm showing a median of four, which isn't great. We did have a pretty good hand of, what, 17, 18 rolls. So what we're going to do, rather than jump on the dome, I'll probably just lay the point each time. I might even move into... Uh, Molly Mashup, which is average guy craps little strategy that he brought up into play. And I kind of like that because it gives you the, the ability to play both sides at one time. So you have the don't going on as well as the pass line. So the nine is our point right now coming on a six three. Let's see what we have here on the nines. Um, showing nothing serious after a nine. How many nines have come up? Nine has been pretty, pretty hot actually. And I think I'll... I'll lay the nine and for some odd reason this screen and the screen up there are way off okay yeah by way off i mean the screen up the big screen just finished well this has been done for a while all right so i'm gonna lay i am going to lay this and then i'm gonna go uh two two one two and a one i'll just take like one or two numbers and be done with it all right, let's see how that works out for us. We'll play for just two numbers at the most and then come down. Eh, we didn't got nothing out of that one. That was a losing hand for us, even though we technically won that leg. Okay, so nine, all right, nine, oh, didn't get that one, two, six, and then a two, five. All right. So we're gonna go back to our lay again, and we'll do that for a few times. We'll take a look at the uh, wins versus losses on the come out roll. On the come out, yeah, one versus none, so it's not a real big deal. Now at six is running pretty hot, I think. Let me see, is sixes, get rid of that six. Six has been kind of low, so they may be due. So what we will do, if I have time, I do, I will lay it and just go two, two, like that again. Maybe I'll put a couple more dollars in there for one roll. Then we'll move down from there. Here's an eight, take the two six. Now the eight went to the nine last time. So I'm gonna clear everything. And we'll put three up there, and that's it. 
we're only going to play for one or two numbers here. See if this changes tides. Since we had the one good hand when we walked up, I can't show that to you at the moment. So we'll wait it out. And a five, one four. See, we had a good hand that started, I guess, here. No, started here. One here. Oh. From this heart, from right there, went all the way down through here. So that was a pretty good hand. I'm going to bring this down for a moment. And I'm going to put three on the don't that way. Let's see if we can get behind a number. H. We'll take no odds. No, no odds. I'm going to put two out there. I'm going to leave the two going on a don't come as a progressive don't come right now. Or a continuous rather than a progressive. And we'll play that for a few numbers. So we end up making $1. So the rolls have definitely shortened, and we're still three dollars down. But, okay. Let's see. Are there any particular hot numbers? Yeah, the the eight and the five seem to be relatively good numbers. The 9 isn't bad either, really. The 8, the 9, and the uh, 5 are not bad. Oh, it came out on an 8 again. That 8's followed... Wait a minute, let me see that. That 8's been followed... I'm just going to put $3 there. And I can put... No, one, one more, like that. I'm going to go with a 10 also. Yeah, I'm going to buy... 2, 6. It's actually a 3, 5. Okay. Now the eight has been pretty good, so don't want to be against that one. Let's see the eights. Which is six. Well, look at my seven out of currencies after the eight. The two six has been pretty bad. The three five has been pretty good, so I don't know why. But let's lock that open like that. And then one, one three. I don't think I've even had a an easy four. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna jump on a don't for three dollars here. Let's see. Seventy eight. You said that was a pretty good one, so we didn't lose against that. So we have no odds on that. What I can do, I could actually place it for three dollars and break even on that one. I am going to do this and hope for a seven. See what we come up with here. We haven't really had a lot of frontline winners, so and it's the eight, unfortunately. And that particular eight is the one that's been going out of seven. And the no odds. So I gotta go like this. No, I gotta wait one roll. Oh yeah, why don't I gotta do this? Why don't I go like this? And then like that. Oh, didn't get enough out there. Let's see if it goes back. Card four, huh? Oh, didn't open it up. We're taking no odds at the moment, although 
We just had two fours come up, all right? So what if I just put a dollar out there? And we'll just play it. Spin it. Well, we're staying small. Of course, our goal is just a $30 win. Let's see what we can do. Why don't you stay with me? Six, one, five. That one five has been a trouble spot for us here. If you take a look at this, that one right there, the one five is where we've been going out mostly after a six. So let's see if we get over this one right now. Oh, so it takes two odds. That's right, we're dropping that with just single dollars I said today. So we need to actually try and hit this. Just came back with a six, back to back one fives. Let's see how many rolls that is. That's shooter roll six, that's the max that we've had out there. So let's just clear everything and just go like that. Nine. All right. I'll take single odds on both of those. The nine. Did we go out on the nine earlier? Let's see something. The eight's been made. The point of eight has been made two out of two times. Right. To get to that, to get rid of that. If you want to question the, whether or not the point's been made, click on it. And it tells you in this particular two out of two times. So let's see. And there's another eight. So right now we're hitting 100% on that little puppy as a point. The eight's been very good. So we have two combats out there, three combats out there. So we'll leave that out there. Let's take a CNU for the heck of it. That was a three five. Okay, that hard six is what I'm starting to look at. Hard six, hard ten will be my next little bets. One three, so we get paid on that as well. I'll take single odds on it. I know I won't do it that way. And I will take the hard six. Four seems to be a popular one there. Hmm. Yeah. Let's take this for about two more rolls and see if we can jump ship on it. So we can make a little profit, which will put us ahead that. Nine is good. Three, six. That nine's been good to us. All right. That was on a uh, three, six, right? We haven't really gone out to the field much. Oh yeah, we are going out to the field now, so let's do that. I have to go up on that. That five is, the five is about where it's supposed to be. We've had eight rolls since I've been here, and it should be between seven and eight, so. And there's my 12. So I'm glad I did what I did there with the field. It's also saying that DP should be aware now, because that's about we're at about 12 rolls right now. What if we go with back to back on that? Could that happen? It's a possibility, right? Ninety. So let's take this little by little here. Don't do the six one thing on me. Hard eight. Huh. All right. Forty four. You know, what? I'm not going to do this because I don't know what the hard ways are like right now. A four. I could just press those two. All right. Five, two, three. So this is for me. This has been the best hand since I've been here. It's fourteen rolls. There was a shooter of twenty rolls, but I was tracking during that time. 
Uh, what do we want? We want double logs on that. We'll take that F1. Hard 4 is in there, so we're good to go. I'd like to press my, my 6, but I'll wait till I get one more hit at least. And there's a 9, and now we will go up on that 6. So it puts me at about 5. Let's go like this. So that keeps it sort of about $91, worst case scenario. Alright, if we can get over this roll, 154, that's a good hand to have. Remember, I just brought those odds down a little bit. That's fine. Mine's been pretty good. The nine has come back to back, we know that. Let's go outside here once. Let's see what happens on the outside. Should be pretty quick and simple here. Five, one, four. So that was a waste of a couple dollars. All right, we're gonna go single odds on that. Rose takes us. I'm going to put one more dollar there. there 84. Come on. Two more numbers. Nope. Three, four. Two numbers would have been done for the suction. And yes, I should have brought it down to about $20 of the outlay, keeping us ahead, but I pressed instead. That was a pretty good hand, though. We, we had uh, what, 17 numbers. I'm going to have that hard six working. Three there. I'm gonna add this, 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 and if I oh, I wanted to have the eight also, but that's fine. Yeah, that's why I wanted the eight. Eight's by far the most popular number. Oh, no odds. I'm gonna press that. Take that ten. I'm gonna throw a seven up there for one roll. Dollars. All right, we need to have a couple numbers roll here. Thanks, sis. Did I have a? I did not have it. Okay, we're good. Let's see how that plays. In. See how all that plays into us. Tracker's keeping pretty good track for us. Longest roll of 20, though. Let's see if we can get another one up in that area while we're playing. Hard 10. I don't think we have a hard 10 this time. Oh, yeah, we did take the hard 10, so that's sweet. Let's take single odds on that. We won't, right? We'll take that. All right, great. So we need a few more numbers here. I don't want to jump the gun here. We're at number like three right now. We're on our third roll. Oh no, we're not. Second roll. Back to back hard tens. Sweet. No, oh, single odds, sorry. I just want single odds. I don't want to put two up in there right now. Let's see if we can get a couple more numbers. Let's get some numbers here. Eight it is. So that that eight as a point has been 100% for us so far. 
It's been a win every time it's come up. We'll put the single odds up. They're off. Everything's off. We're going to drop this down to two bucks. I only have one out there. I'm going to take the yo because we've been hitting the sixes on the dice and the five on the dice. So we might get a yo out of it. That would be kind of nice. We also had the 12 come up earlier, I believe. Yes, we did have the 12 come up earlier. So. Oh, I thought we had that. On a niner. Four or five. So we will take single odds. Let's see if the nine does as a point. It's been made two out of three times. It has not come back to back. So since it hasn't come back to back, we'll just let, wait that out. Still waiting on that. Okay. All right, let's see what the 8, 9, and 10 are like. Anything? The 6 card, 8 it is. 3, 5. So. We're still going to stay with the single odds for now. All right. And that was a 5. So I'm still going to stay with that. I'm going to throw one more dollar out there. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go here and here. So this way I'm ahead if a red comes up. But if it happens to be a hard 10, I'm a happy camper. And if it's a 4, on the other side, we'll just take the $2. And we won't take odds yet. I'm going to bring these odds back down to $2. And drop this back down. And we'll go like that. And now I want to take a look at my props for a moment. Uh, the hard four has hit twenty. Has hit, excuse me, has hit four times today. So maybe we should take a hard four. Eight is by far the best number of the day. And we'll take the double odds this time because we're ahead. And we'll take a dollar down here now. I'm going to increase that. I'm going to take the red for one roll. I should actually take... I'm going to do this instead of that. No, I need to do this. So that way I'm ahead, even if a red comes up. It'll only be a couple bucks, but I'll take a profit. Anywhere I can get it. And there's our profit. All right. All right, so 106. Sorry, we'll tell. Oh, I had the seven there. I didn't realize that. Profit is good. No doubt about that. Any profit is a profit. That's how I'm going to look at it. Now, this hand I'm probably going to sit out for a couple numbers on just to see what happens. Uh, we still haven't really had a come out roll, but we are making a lot of first points. So maybe we'll, we'll play for the first point. Aces. I'm going to drop the aces in, so our aces come up. But if you look at this here, the P slash S, that first num the first four that you see up there is how many times the person has not made a point. So zero times a person's made a point, which in this case is four. Then a person's made a point four times, and then the person's made or shooters made a point, a second point three times, and we even had three points being made. And that's in what? Uh, seven rollers or so, so that's that's pretty good. So points are being made, so it's a good thing to be uh, playing that first player, so to speak. And for, this is for the first point. So we went to two, five. All right, let's see how we go here. We had uh, Hard 10 still possible. Lots of fives on the dice coming up. And where are we at? Back on that four. One, three. One, three went to uh, eights and nines. So we're going to just small. And then we'll just do like that. Like that. Still on a hard six, so I'm gonna put one more dollar out there like that. Hard fours and tens are still in the, in the book, so to speak. Let's see if we can get one of them. Five, one, four. I think we have a dollar on that. 
So we'll take single lines. I'm going to press each of those a dollar. If we get past like the five, six uh, roll mark, then we'll see if we can put a little more out there because it's not getting, it's not killing us. Okay. So we'll take single odds. I'm going to take that hard four now. I have no point of four, which is fine with me. Don't mind that. I'm going to put one in the field in case I go to the four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve kind of scenario. Yo would be okay, but yo's and tens are the four. So that pays me back for my uh, not having the four, and I had a hard four out there. So it took down my hard four, but still paid me, and that was a one three, of course. I'll take that down. Now two of those. I do want this, and one two three. So I'm gonna put one more dollar out there. Ah, one six. So I still lose a few dollars. Not a big deal. No, I can't. No, let's go ahead. And do it. No. We'll wait it out. Three, two. Nine's been the highest payout after a five, so we'll stay with that. Has the five come back to back at all? Yeah, four has not come back to back, which is the five, so let's see what we have going on here. See if that nine comes up. Now it goes out to a ten. Okay. Four, six, ten. No odds. Let's go like that. We'll go this way, and after ten, we've been going to the eights, so I'm not going to take that. Eights, one, nine, one, six, a couple of reds. So let's see how this plays out. Hard eight would be nice, but it takes a nine. All right. Make the single odds. Take that one. Tens. Tens, it says, huh? Tens? Oh, it says a five. So I need to have a five. I didn't get that in there. Five is what I needed after this one. One and a three. That takes care of my four. Take no odds. I don't think the four. Nine, eights and nines. I still need to have that four in there. Five's not even in the books on this one. I don't know about the horns. There's uh, I have a three and a two that have come up, but I haven't had the uh, yellow or eleven come up. So let's see. Yeah, so on five. All right, this is our win. It's been a bit of a problem for us here, right? So why don't we stay off of that? And after the six, it's been nines and been a couple eights. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring that one down. I have a hard ten. I think it might try and fake me out there. I haven't had that six. Yeah, I did have a six come back to that. 
All right, let's see if we go eights and nines. I don't want that red. It's kind of tied in between there. Eights and nines. That's what we're looking for. Nine was the most popular number after six. That's why I was asking for it. Uh, four, five. Tens and eights. Didn't have that back to back. Tens and eights. Haven't had that six come up. Okay. All right. So we're up a dollar. Let's see if we can get more than that. Nine, thank you. Four, five. All right. So we're staying in that same. No, we're not. We're staying in that same arena right now. We'll press one there. Press one there. That was a six, right? Five, four. I got the hard ways. I could bring that hard four down and see if I can tempt it to roll it. Four, five. That's three nines in a row. So what we're going to do is just do the same thing we just did. We're going to go like that, bring that down, and do it that way. Now, I'm going to bring this five down to just three dollars or four dollars. Well, yeah, we'll do that. We'll take that one down and go like this. See if we go 9, 10. And if it falls back to the 8, we're still okay. 10 it is. 4, 6. So, so far so good. We're doing single odds on that. Put that one back. 10 still looking like an 8, even though we haven't seen that 8. I need that in there. I'd like to go up on this one and this one. So, and I'll go that way. Take that out. No, I want that in there. Just in case it falls to the nine. I'm thinking eight, but in case it falls to the nine, it is the eight. Okay. And the only reason I was saying that, if you look at this thing after the ten, it said the eights are high. So, that's why I was saying it. Uh, we're going to take the double odds, but that's a six two, right? Which hasn't been good, so we gotta pull that down, gotta take that down, gotta take this down, gotta put one of those out of there. And then gotta hope. Let's just see if we can do it. Ten, sweet. Alright. Alright. Single odds on there. Staying with that thing, and after it's this one. All right, we've made one coin, so I'm not going to add to the. If there have been zero points made, then I would have pressed my five because we've been making a lot of first points. But we haven't been there, so I'm not going to do that. Eight, that's our good one. Remember, after the ten. Again, I'll just show you real quickly. After the ten, the eights. We've had five eights come up, so it's been eights and nines after that. All right, and now got to put that back out there again. Two six uh, four. This is this is the one we got to worry about. So we'll cheat a little bit by doing that, and we'll do it that way instead. Five fours, huh? There's my yell. We got it down there. Five six. All right, this is all new territory. We've had one eight come up. So we're going to turn everything off. I can't. I, I got to clear it. Because I want these working. And then I'll put the buy out there for a couple dollars. And do it like that. This way we have 136, which means we've got our 30%. 30 bucks is in the bag. We're a happy camper. Just quick and simple. And it is a winner five. All good. All good. We'll take single odds there. Oh crap, I gotta do this. I think it's obvious I want those to work. I need to cover a little bit up there. So. 
Let's see if we get a pair. Nope. We get the 10, though. 4, 6. And that's been going to the 8. So I'm going to put that back. No, I'm not taking those on. Gotta do that for a roll. Put that out there. Let's just do it like this. That keeps us at $30. No, no, we could take $1 because I have a red. Now let's hit some numbers. Come on. Five is good. I hope this die doesn't land on, on a six because that ace did not want to come down. the lower side of that right now. Cross. Alright, let's hit the lows. The threes, fours, fives. That says nines. Nines and sevens actually. Yeah. Three, four. Yeah, yeah. So after that five. Well, we did it. We got to our 30%. So that's up. Done. We'll call it a day on this one. We got an no one to walk away, right? Our goal is 30%. We made the 30%, so we're done for the session. All right. Have a great one, guys.